Hi everybody, it's Carolan, the daydreamer. Today it's a special day, you know why? Because it's the last time you get to see brown hair. Today I decided I dye my hair flashy pink, like magenta pink. So I got some product from the um, uh, hairdresser place. I got some candy pink color. And I got some, this one, one of my friends gave me Manic Panic Magenta. So I'm just gonna mix the two together, especially I'm gonna put more pink because I want a more pink color. And I got some bleach, so wish me luck on that. I'll be following very specific instruction for that. And I got some toner to make it lighter, so wish me luck. And I, I have to say, I'm sorry for everybody that thinks that my brown hair are pretty or brown. I just always like pink and flashy color, so I want to have like Wonder Dream for my hair and stay in my shower. Yeah, and my towels and everything I own basically. So keep watching to see what I'm doing. Bye bye. So first of all, I'm gonna do my dye. So I got that master light, and they say to put one of these cup and one ounce of one ounce of that per per cup. So I'm gonna go to two ounce right now because because I have hair, and I'm just gonna dye my roots, and then I'll um, wash out my uh, my hand just to give that color. So I'm gonna put two ounce of that. So first of all, I just go like that and press here and it put it back to zero and I'm gonna do two ounces of that. Two! So I got two, two ounces of that. Anyways, 20 volume. And then I'm gonna put two scoops of that, basically. So one and two. Then I'm gonna mix it all together. Don't need this anymore. Hope I'm not gonna screw up my hair. I talked to the lady and she was very scared for me and she she's like is your mom doing it? So I was like no but I know what I'm doing of course I know I know what I'm doing like yeah I know uh, I'm not sure if I know but I do know I'm, I'm just gonna do my first of all I'm gonna do my roots here till here about here with that mix and then I'll um, I'll do some uh, decolorant, which is basically bleach and uh, some uh, moisture uh, conditioner to my hand, just to remove that pink a little bit. But it's not the end of the world if it's not like white pink, just to try to get it even as even as possible. So I'll start on that soon. So first of all, I'm gonna separate my hair in four. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I just switched place because I got better lighting here and a big mirror, so I'd rather have that for filming this because I need a lot of mirror. Kitty, you're distracting me. Okay, so I'll start here with my first quadrant and my kitten is very, very, my cat is very, very exciting right now. She's like, oh, you're doing something because like, I don't do much thing most of the time and she gets really exciting. So I'll just put in my roots. So I'll start sectioning my hair. I put it all over the place, but not till the end, till the place I have that's like already lighten. I don't go there because no point. It's more thick than hair, hair dye, I think. It's just weird. I hope it's not gonna destroy my hair. Can you see me? 
So now I'm gonna go do the other side of my head here. That doesn't look very professional the way I apply it. It's hard to do on yourself. I always do things myself. It's too long to wait for people. It's already started to lift. My hair looks lift really quick actually. It act, it's acting so fast actually, I'm like very surprised, my hair is already blonde on the one side. I'm just like, wait, wait for my other hair to get to be blonde. It's a good thing I didn't put 30 volume on. My hair are lifting really, really quick actually, never saw such a quick lifting hair. So now I'm gonna do the back. I've been watching you. Okay, so we'll start the same method for my other part of my head. But I'm getting there finally, almost. I have this part to die now, just this one. And I'm done. I'm having orange hair. I guess it's just when you bleach, that's what happened. You get orange hair. Okay, so I'm done. I'm just gonna go look for brown spot. That's what I'm gonna do right now. And just try to make it even. Now the hair, uh, the, I mean the hair uh, liner is put it on. So I'm gonna put it for 10, 20 minutes, whenever I feel like it's lightened enough. And I'll be back with you. Hi everybody, so I stopped it from lifting after 10-15 minutes because I saw my roots was getting very blonde and here it's not getting blonde so what I'm gonna what I did is I wash it, dry them and I'm just gonna uh, reapply the uh, the dye just here because I, I don't want here to get more blonde. I don't need to get it to a white blonde because like I mean I'm like I mean I'm doing pink and not like pastel pink so I just want to remove that brown here and a little bit at the end I'll put it a little bit at the end here so I'll start applying in it right now. I did add some brown in my hair, so that's why it's like harder to come off. So I just want to lift that part that's already this part that's like not so. That's kind of brown. I've been watching 
I don't put it at the end because my ends are already kind of pale so I'm just trying to put it right there where it's kind of in between and I open it and I try to see if there's any missing spot like this part here it's still kind of brown ish I'm doing this step because I mean I want to have an even dye as much as possible and I don't want to lift them too much because I have tiny hair so it's gonna break them if I over lift here it's not equal And I'm gonna go see in the back, and I might redo here. You can go see in the back, and I'll be back with you. Okay, here's my hair after I bleach my end. Uh, I'm not gonna take it any further than this because I'm scared that my hair is gonna get um, bad. But I think it's fine enough for like starting to like to the color because I'm not going pastel color. I'd rather go with a very pink, flashy color. So I'm not gonna take it any further for the hair. So let's keep watching for seeing what I'm doing. So now I'm gonna mix the color for that. So first of all, I'll start with that and it'll mix the bowl. And I'll go with my purple, my pink color. And I'll put a lot of the pink because I wanna go pink. And I'll add some purple into that pink because I want it to be a little more purple than pink. I just want a little bit of purple in it to make it more magenta. See? It's magenta. It's pretty. It's exactly the color I want. And I'll do my roots a little darker. Basically it's the same purple color but with more purple and a little bit of that dark one. I'm gonna keep some pink to do and put in my moisturizer. And I'll put some of that color that's uh, for with some red in it. Not a lot, just a, a bead basically. I just want my roots to be a little darker but I don't want it to go all the way dark. And I like this little whisk because it's just mixing it and it's nice, so it's gonna be a very purple. So I'm gonna start applying now. So for starting applying, I'm just gonna do the quadrant and I put all the purple in and then I'll put the pink all over the rest of my hair, basically. So let's get started. I did here and I'm just gonna split my thing here. I'll do the bang at the end because I don't want to put it too far to the purple color. I don't know. I'm gonna do something special. I don't know. I just want to do it at last. Like, applying dye is way easier than, than, than bleaching hair, actually. That's what I find. If you're a beginner, just don't do it. <laughs> Even me, it's kind of not sure if it's gonna look good. I know the dye is gonna look good, but I hope my hair is not gonna be too damaged. Probably gonna be damaged. Well, it's on me for wanting to have flashy hair. I like this color. It's so flashy and colorful. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in my back part. 
I'm gonna start by one section. Now I'm gonna go to my last part, basically. This part that's not uh, done. Hi, so I did apply all my dye. So basically I put the darker color on the roots and I put the lighter color on the end. My uh, my neighbor did come to see me and she helped me with uh, the back because it wasn't even because I mean, it's hard for me to see my back. Hi everybody, here's my final result. I really love my new pink hair, they're so pretty. Like, I mean, I thought I couldn't do it, but actually it turns out very nice. Like, I mean, it was really yellow earlier, but now it's like this perfect pink flashy color. Um, I did run out of dye, so it is kind of patchy over here and here, but that's not a big deal because, I mean, next time I take a shower, I'll just um, run some conditioner with dye to make it more even and I'll re-dye again so when I re-dye I'm sure it's gonna get more even and next time I'll get more dye but I don't want to dye it right now because I mean it's it's been enough dye for now but my hair looks nice they look healthy right now I mean yeah basically if you want to do it like you can do it but like bleaching your, my hair was really hard so if it's your first time, I would tell you to go to a hair salon, unless you kind of know what you're doing like me, but then you can do it yourself, but it's pretty, pretty hard because like, I mean, in the back, you can see my back of my head and I had some dye here and it didn't dye uh, as quick as here, here it got blonde like in 10 minutes and here it took like 20 to 30 minutes to get blonde, so, and my tip got lighter, but yeah. I didn't have to cut anything, my tips still look healthy and everything, like I mean, everything's great. I just have to re-dye them soon to just even out all the color, but that's not, that's not a big deal because my bleach is fine, so I really like it. So thanks for watching, thank you for watching and have a nice day, bye bye!